Notebooks are a great way of writing down your thoughts and keeping track of all tasks that need doing. I must have at least four or five new unused notebooks, but that doesn't stop me wanting to buy more. I guess I have a thing for notebooks. No matter how hard I try, I can't quite get into the swing of using my notebook every single day. I move from online note taking to notebooks to simply keeping all vital information in my head. I have tried many different apps and never quite found the right balance where I look forward to taking notes. Also the idea of having to log on to my laptop or phone just to make a note isn't very appealing if I have been stuck behind a desk all day. However, I am willing to try new apps to see if they can somehow organise my chaos. Today I am going to take a look at Relanote, I think that's how you pronounce it and see if it can help. So here we are on the Relanote website, it's a, it's a note taking tool to help you connect the dots. It has a wiki or a classical hierarchy and it adapts to your thinking process. There's a little diagram that highlights one of the functions or one of the key concepts behind Relanote which is the ability to link notes together. The example it gives is that if you're going on a vacation to France and a vacation to Italy, the commonality between the two vac vacations would be your summer trip luggage and you have the ability to link uh, the summer trip luggage note together with the two vacation notes. Under the main features section it describes what it means by Relanote adapting to your thinking process. So firstly allow you to create both hierarchical and non-hierarchical note taking. So what this means is allow you to organize your notes in files and folders. In addition it allows you to add bi-directional links as was shown previously in the previous example about the vacations. On, on top of that it allows you to give it a little bit more organization by using the hashtag symbol to add tags into your notes as well. So whichever way you want to work it allows you to create notes and this is what it says allow you to create notes that adapt to the way you want to work and the way you want to organize um, your note taking. Something unique to Relanote and something that I've never seen in, in another note taking app before is the concept of the graph. The graph gives you a bird's eye view of all your notes and how they are connected together. And this means if you are using the bidirectional linking of notes together, you can have a more visual picture of how all your notes are linked together and all the notes available inside the Relanote app that you've created. Because Relanote is not stored locally on your computer, rather your notes are stored in the cloud, security is of paramount in, uh, importance in a situation like that because you might have personal or client data which you don't want other people to get access to. So Relanote does say that they have full encryption of your notes. At the moment they're saying that it's in currently in closed beta. Also it gives you the ability to share your notes with other people, giving them a link so they can so somebody can view a single note or maybe many notes and they don't need to have a Relanote account to view these notes. The updating of these shared notes is dynamic and currently this functionality is only available in closed beta. They also have a dark theme if you want to use Relanote in dark theme. They have a number of upcoming features which include being the ability to import notes from Evernote, OneNote, etc. The ability to export notes into PDF, Markdown, HTML and JPEGs. Um, ready to use templates, more themes to suit your needs better, custom shortcuts and browser extensions. In terms of plans they have available, currently the only one available is the basic free plan but in the future they're going to have one for four dollars a month which is pro and one for nine dollars a month which is uh, the team version. Relanote will eventually be available on web, windows, mac os, android and ios. At the moment the one that's fully developed is the web version of Relanote. The windows and mac versions are still in development and the android and ios versions are in closed beta. That's all in terms of the Relanote website. So now I'm going to jump straight into the app and take a look and see how it all works. 
So as you can see, I've already been in before previously when I initially installed Relonote to just create a few notes and to test it out. From within the Relonote app, you can simply click on the take note button to create a new note. And this is something that Relonote says is different to other note taking apps where you don't actually have to leave the application or leave what you're doing to create a new note. So I'm just going to give the title of the note Relonote video. I'm going to make this note to do with creating a, a video about Relonote. So once you're given it a title, you can move down to the body of the note. And I'm just going to write something like this is a note to do with creating a, the Relonote video or something similar. And then you can continue to give it, say in this example, I'm just going to list a few steps that I need to take to create the video. And you can, like any application, you can just continue to add more information to the notes. You've obviously got uh, the bold and the underlining and the ability to align your text, add images, all these kind of default things that all other types of application applications have. Then I'm going to create a bi-directional link, something that's unique to Relonote to see how that works. So in my instance, I'm going to uh, put a link to the audio setup uh, for creating a video. So this would be the audio setup would be something that um, I would use for all videos, not only the Relonote videos. So this might include information about how to set up my mic, how to set up various other aspects of the audio. So I'm going to create a bi-directional link uh, from within the Relonote video to the audio setup. And then once you click on the audio setup link, you actually have to double click. It brings you into the audio setup note. So what it does is once you create the bi-directional link, it's already created a holder note or a dummy note for you with the title audio setup. And within the audio setup note, you might, I'm going to write down the things that I need to, the steps I need to take uh, to ensure the audio setup is correct. So I need to plug in the USB mic, which I forgot to do in the past. I need to ensure it's not muted, which I forgot to do in the past also. If I go back to the list of notes, then you'll see both the audio setup and the Rella note notes are now present in the list of notes. I can then just create another note um, and it doesn't reload the app. Uh, this is something I was thinking about doing as well on a different channel and maybe uh, just and again I'll just highlight the kind of things I need to do for that. It's gonna get be similar. We need a topic, we need a, a script again for the topic. Um, we need to record the video, edit the video as well and then again now I'm going to create the the bi-directional link to the audio setup again and because I've already created that note when you start typing at it will auto complete so you can use previously created notes so that will add that note there and again double clicking on it will take you to the page with the audio setup note and then under references for the audio setup it will show you every other note that's linked to the audio setup note as well and then if you look in the graph which is something that is uh, unique to Relonote it will show the links between the audio setup and the Relonote video and that both the create first video and the Relonote video are linked to the audio setup note so it gives you a more graphical uh, or a more visual I should say more visual understanding of how the notes are linked together the only one thing I would say is that sometimes these groups of notes s seem to overlap with each other within the UI. So maybe this is something that the developers can look at and look at addressing to fix um, in the future. Other than that, it's a quite unique and a quite a nice feature in terms of understanding how everything linked together. How this would work if you had many, many, many notes um, linked together is... Um, I haven't really tested that at the moment, but you've got the two t filters at the top for filtering by tags and filtering by categories. And I've already created some categories previously and put some notes in there and also created a, you know, a tag before for money, which you can use to just bring up 
um, notes that contain that in that hashtag of money. Um, it also has categories which shows the files and folders system and by clicking on tags you can view all the tags that you have used before. So this is my quick overview of the Relent Note app. I think it's a very interesting concept how you can link notes together and it's very interesting also how you can get the graphical overview and I think I would be using it day to day and it probably would help me organize my notes better. The only thing I would need to do would be to f force myself to use it and once it's available on the various other platforms like iOS and as a Mac app then I think I could find myself using it on a regular basis. There were a few bugs which I've contacted the developer about which I think need to be ironed out before I could use it on a regular basis because sometimes the pages are not loading up or showing the notes. A lot of the features are still in closed beta testing so I'd love to have a look at the iOS app and see how that all links together as well. So all in all I think it's something very interesting and I would probably come back at a later date to give it another spin and uh, see how it's improved and give maybe a more in-depth review of the features as opposed to the overall concept. So if you like this video please subscribe to the channel, click on the thumbs up for the video as well and share this video and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.